Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Offseason. I'm Benjamin Kelly. Coming up on this edition, Ryan O'Hearn has carried his big season from 2016 with Wilmington and Northwest Arkansas into the Arizona Fall League. He'll join us later on in the show. But first, let's get you caught up on all of the happenings of the Royals farmhands in the Arizona Fall League. Earlier this week, the Fall League announced its 2016 Fall Stars, and Ryan O'Hearn is the lone Royals representative playing for the West team in the Arizona Fall League All-Star Game. The Frisco, Texas native has hit safely in 10 of his last 11 games and currently ranks 5th in the league in batting average with a 354 clip. He has a couple of doubles through November the 1st along with 5 RBIs. Corey Toops has hit safely in his last 3 games for surprise and has slightly cooled down from his rabid start from earlier this season. The second baseman is hitting 275 through 9 games in fall league action with a home run and 3 RBIs and a trio of doubles. On the pitching side of things, Royals prospect Eric Stout has continued to do well. In his six appearances this season, Eric has allowed just two runs over seven innings, equating out to a 2.57 ERA with five punch-outs and three walks. He earned the save back on October 27th with surprises win over Peoria. Reliever Evan Beal has worked five straight scoreless outings spanning over five innings of work. The right-hander worked the November loss in, against Mesa and allowed a hit. His only hit that he's allowed since October the 14th and has six strikeouts over seven and a third innings of work in fall league play. Josh Stalmont had his first rough outing of the autumn. The right-hander allowed five runs, four earned on three hits and struck out six in a pair of walks on October 28th at Scottsdale. He still ranks third in the fall league with 17 strikeouts over 14 and a third innings as of November the 2nd and third among starters with a .98 whip trailing San Diego prospect Kyle McGrath and St. Louis prospect Austin Gomber. Now another note from the Fall League, surprise was no hit by the Mesa Solar Sox back on November the 1st by right-hander Dylan Covey, right-hander Frankie Montas, and a Miami Marlins prospect Drew Strickenreiter. We'll talk to Ryan O'Hearn coming up next about the no-hit against him and much more. Stay tuned for that right here on the Offseason. Make sure you get a head start on Season 10 of Naturals Baseball. Season tickets are available now, and you won't want to miss any of the fun this year. Remember, the sooner you get them, the better your seats will be. For more information, visit nwanaturals.com or give us a call at 479-927-4900. Now let's get back to the show. Lionel Hearn is one of eight Royals representatives playing for the Surprise Saguaros this Arizona Fall League season. And as I said earlier, he has carried his big bat from 2016 into the Fall League season. With Northwest Arkansas this year, he played in 112 games, hit 15 home runs, drove in 60, and had 25 doubles. And recently he was named an Arizona Fall League All-Star. And now Ryan joins us via telephone. And first off, Ryan, 19 games into the Fall League season. What's the experience just been like for you? Yeah, I mean, it's... Um it's an experience for sure. You get to play against uh, some of you know the most talented in the minor leagues and um, guys that are highly regarded by their own organization. So uh, it's it's not it's not easy. It's tough, but it's it's awesome to you know play you know face the challenge of play against guys that are such high caliber um, baseball players. You were named an Arizona Fall League All Star recently, the lone Royals representative. So what does that mean to you? Yeah, same. I mean, same thing. It's another honor to be a part of that group, and um, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be an experience for me just to be able to play against truly really, like the best of the best in the minor leagues right now. And it's um, what I'm looking at is it's really a, a sign and a um, it's going to show you what the big leagues could be like. You know, maybe not necessarily to that level, but as close as I've been so far. So uh, yeah, I'm excited for it, and, and it's definitely a, um, an honor and. Um, I was lucky enough to, you know, hit the ball pretty well the first couple of weeks out here, and uh, I'm just trying to continue that for, you know, it's a short season. You only play what, you know, I mean, you only play for what five weeks. So I'm just trying to uh, just get after it every day and make the most of my time. Now the fall league all star game, as you said, is a chance to see the up and coming big league talent and really kind of get a glimpse of what the major leagues will look like in the coming years. You've had a chance to see some of the top prospects in all of baseball, just to name a couple, Gleyber Torres with the Yankees, Bradley Zimmer with the Indians, and you had a chance to be teammates with Yoan Mankata, 
So what's that experience been like seeing the upper echelon talent in all of the minor leagues? Well, I mean, you know, it's human nature to measure yourself up against them. And, um, but I mean, it's, it's, you want to do that and, and kind of see where you stand, but at the same time, I'm just trying to worry about myself and worry about my swing and my game and just trying to have quality at bats. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's cool to be, you know, playing on the same team as you all on and, um, getting to see, you know, what his work ethic is like and, and what he does every day is, is, you know, it's, it's, a it's a motivator for sure because, you know, I want to be in the same, you know, categories of those guys my whole career. So, uh, it, it goes both ways. You see where you're at compared to them, and, and it's impossible not to measure yourself up against them. But at the same time, you really just try to focus on yourself, um, focus on what you're doing. Now, I know his season was cut short due to a thumb injury, but what did you take away from Encada? Did you learn anything from him? Did you pick up any of his, of his habits and how he prepares for a game? Yeah, I don't know if I learned anything from him. I think, uh, you know, I've been, I've been around the game just as long as he has, but um, it's you you watch him, and, and every once in a while you'll see a flash of greatness. You know, he does something that you're like, oh wow, and that's and it's like, okay, that's why, that's why he's you know he is who he is. But you know, he's just a, he's a good baseball player, and um, you know, he's just, he's unbelievably talented and fun to watch, and you know, I think he's got a really good career ahead of him. Now, a day in the life of a ball player is something that many people really don't know anything about. They've never had a chance to experience that. And the fall league may be a little bit different. You know, I know you said you get to the ballpark at about 8.30 for a 12.35 game. So just take us through your daily routine and what's it like. Well, we got, today's, a, today's different because we got, uh, we're not taking batting practice today. Kind of maybe once a week the manager just lets us roll in a little bit later. But um, usually I, I leave the house about 7, 7.15 and get there and uh, get a workout in a couple times a week. Then early work. EP go straight into the game. It's pretty, it's pretty similar to what you do in um, in the season during the season, but it's just pushed up because most of the games are at twelve thirty. Now you mentioned your manager Carlos Fablis, a former Royal. What's his managerial style like? And have you had a chance to talk to him about his uh, days in Kansas City? Yeah, he's great. He's definitely a player's manager. Um, you know, makes it fun every day to show up and. Uh, keeps it loose and light, and, and I've really enjoyed playing for him. Yeah, I've, I've talked to him a little bit about the Royals, and um, he loves the Royals, and, you know, we just talked about mutual guys that he played against, he's, you know, played with, that, uh, that I have coached me, and, and um, so, yeah, it's been awesome to, to play for Carlos. And your hitting coach is Kevin Riggs, who was a manager in the Texas League for Tulsa a couple of years ago. So what has he done to help you out? What has he done to help your swing? Anytime you get to be around uh, hitting coaches that you know have have all that experience and and um, have been around and you know want to pick their brain and see what they think, so I mean yeah, it's awesome to be around Riggs and um, just just ask him if that's about what he saw and what he thought I could do differently. Little stuff, you know, you know it's the fall league, it's a month long, and and uh, everybody's already played a full season. I don't think anybody's looking to make any real swing changes right now and. Um, but I mean, so it's, you know, as far as that goes, I pretty much just pick his brain and see what he sees from the bat to bat and uh, what I could do differently. Now, the Arizona Fall League is a very self-driven league. You obviously want to do as well as you possibly can to help bolster your own stock, but you're still on a team. So what is the importance of winning in the Arizona Fall League? I mean, I think it's important. I mean, you, you know, the teams come together in the first few days as guys are trying to get to know each other and stuff. And then, and then now, I mean, it's like, just like any other team, you guys you guys mesh together well, and um, you know our team is awesome. Everybody on the team is a great guy, and um, we've gotten along really well. And I mean, at the same time, everybody wants to have good numbers. Well, that really doesn't happen unless you know you're winning and putting up numbers as a team. Because I mean, how can I get in the RBIs if the guys in front of me aren't getting on base? And uh, you know, so I mean, it, it, the winning and the numbers kind of go hand in hand. So um, yeah, there's definitely emphasis on winning. It, it, you know. As a as a competitor and an athlete, I don't think any guy in the clubhouse shows up and says, "Uh, oh, we could lose today. It's a, you know, no big deal. Now, I know you guys were no hit on Tuesday, November the 1st, by Dylan Covey and Frankie Montas of the Athletics and Drew Strickenrider of the Marlins. How good were Covey and Montas both pitched in this league last year? Yeah, they're very good. They're <laughs> they're very good, no doubt about it. But, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know if that's the first time in the history of the league it's happened or what, but... Um, yeah, we had no hit yesterday. I think there are a lot of 
hard it balls right at guys, and sometimes that's just how it works out. So, Ryan, after the fall league ends in November, what's the rest of your off season look like? Man, I'm going to get in the weight room and uh, rebuild my body and, and uh, eat right and, and uh, just try to get myself ready to go for next year, be as strong as I could be, and, uh, still athletic, and, and uh, get ready to go for the next season. I'm looking forward to it already. I know we haven't stopped playing baseball, but it's hard not to look forward to spring training being out here. So do you set any personal goals for yourself in the weight room, like lift this much weight or put this much weight on? What does that look like? Uh, I don't want to I don't want to put a, a, a limitation on how strong or how much, you know, muscle I can put on. I just want to get in there every day. And uh, same thing as, you know, in, in baseball, take it, take every of that one day at a time, take every workout one, one at a time, and uh, really just get after it every day. All right, Ryan, thanks for doing this. Appreciate your time. We'll see you in spring training. All right, BK. Take care, man. We'll wrap things up when we come back here on the off season, so don't go anywhere. Discounted mini packs for season 10 of Naturals Baseball are on sale now. Want to catch all the fireworks at our best ballpark? We have a mini pack for that. You like your Thirsty Thursdays? So do we. You can get a pack of tickets for that, too. You get to guarantee your same grade seat for every game. You get two meet and greets with autographs and pictures and much more. So call us at 479-927-4900 to get it set up today. Not a whole lot happened on the transaction wire this week, but I did want to let you know that the Puerto Rican Winter League has begun and Naturals infielder Jack Lopez is currently playing in his hometown league. You can get a full rundown of his stats and games along with the Dominican, Mexican, and Venezuelan leagues in our podcast, which you can find on our social media platforms on Twitter and Facebook. So make sure you go check that out. That will do it for another edition of the Off Season. Only 155 more days until opening day. So enjoy the rest of this one. Thanks for watching.